First tonight, talks of Elon Musk making a major investment into the city of Memphis continue. Amid the excitement of possibly having the world's largest supercomputer right here in the Bluff City, there are still many unanswered questions. And our Leah Williams breaks down what we know and what we don't know so far about the historic proposed project. Well, this project is still awaiting approval from the TVA and the Memphis Shelby Economic Growth Engine. In the meantime, though, with very few details released, Mayor Paul Young told ABC 24 Saturday that we could soon get a little more clarity about how the development could impact Memphis. The single largest multi-billion dollar investment in the city of Memphis history. City and county leaders were thrilled to announce Wednesday tech billionaire Elon Musk is eyeing Memphis as the home of the world's largest supercomputer for his company, XAI. That's a great project. It's going to be good for our community. Uh, the music from FedEx to AutoZone. We've been innovating for many years, and this is just another notch on the innovation belt for our city. Here's what we know about the jobs this project will need. The Greater Memphis Memphis Chamber says it will need data scientists, computation engineers, and programmers. We also found out through real estate data that the supercomputer will likely be in southwest Memphis at the former Electrolux facility. Right now, there are more questions than answers about the project, including how this facility could impact the city's power and water supply. So there are a lot of conversations around water and power. In a statement, MLGW said it will be able to meet the company's needs without putting water and power resources at risk. We also don't know how many jobs XAI will create or if hiring Memphians will be a priority. The tax incentives that could be given to the billionaire also still haven't been made public. Other questions include if or how Memphis-based companies will be able to utilize the technology and if Musk will invest in local neighborhoods and communities after moving the company here. Mayor Paul Young says all of the logistics are still being worked out. I'm excited to learn more. We're going to continue those conversations and we'll be updating the public very soon. An estimated timeline for getting the supercomputer up and running also hasn't been announced by city or county leaders, but we will keep pushing for answers to these questions. Kevin.